of motion so to understand newton second law of motion first of all the topic momentum should be clear to you so if you have not watched that video of momentum first of all watch that video and then come to the second law of motion so what is second law of motion the i will explain you with the help of an example suppose this is a car with a dead battery and how the car will be started if a person will give a sudden push to the car the you have to tell me this answer if a person will give a sudden push to the car or give a continuous push to the car in which case the car will be started in first case or in second case yes the car will be started in which case it will be started in second case why it will be started in second case not in the first case in the first case the time will be less and in second case the time will be more so what is newton second law of motion ki in this first case you are also doing what change in momentum in second case you are also doing what change in momentum but in second case you are taking more time to change the momentum by applying the force in the first case you have applied the force for the less time period so this newton second law of motion it means that the change of momentum does not depend that what force you have applied it also depend that for what time period you have applied the force like in the first case you have applied the force for less time period and in the second case you have applied the force for more time period so we can say that the force is directly proportional to change in momentum and this will be divided by time because the change in momentum depends on that for what time period you are applying the force and when anything is divided by time what is this called this is called rate like you have studied in acceleration change in velocity divided by time what is this called rate of change of velocity is called what acceleration in the same manner when this change in momentum is divided by time what is this called this is called rate of change of momentum so force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum this is the newton second law very easy definition if you understand this formula you can make the definition yourself and whatever force we are applying that will be called which force unbalanced force so definition of newton second law of motion rate of change of momentum of an object is proportional to applied unbalanced force in the direction of force means in whichever direction you are applying the force the object will move in that direction yeah so this is newton's second law of motion now we will come to the next topic of the that is mathematical formulation of second law of motion it means we have to derive formula of second law of motion this is not second equation of motion like in chapter 8 you have studied three equations of motion first was v is equal to u plus at second s is equal to ut plus half at square and third v square minus u square is equal to 2 as in this we are studying second equation not second equation of motion second law of motion so when it comes in exam so you should see the question very carefully either they are asking second equation of motion or second law of motion so what is second law of motion we will derive this formula in three steps in first step we will derive formula of change of momentum second step rate of change of momentum and in third step we will derive formula of force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum like we have studied in newton second law of motion definition in the same manner we are 
explaining it step by step. So first of all in the first step that is we are deriving formula of change in momentum. So what is change in momentum? This is P2 minus P1 very easy. What is P2? That is MV minus MU. Yes. And when MV minus MU what can we take common? M. So what is coming here? MV minus U. So this was the first step. Now in the second step we have to derive formula of rate of change of momentum. Rate of change of momentum is when anything is divided by time. So what is coming rate of change of momentum? MV minus MU divided by time. Very easy. Yes. So this is second step. Rate of change of momentum has come. Now the third step is what? Force is directly proportional to rate of change of momentum. So we are writing here force is directly proportional to MV minus U upon time. Yeah. So what is coming here? Again we are removing the proportional sign. We are writing what is equal to and one constant. So in the same manner whatever the proportional sign is coming here. We will remove this proportional sign and we will write is equal to and one constant. You can check what is written here is equal to and I have written this one constant. And what is that constant? That constant is what k. So proportional sign we have removed. What we have written here is equal to and this constant k. And the value of this constant k was noted. And what is it? If we are writing this one. If we, you can check. If we will write v minus u. What is v minus u upon t called? This is called a. So what is written here? F is equal to K M A. Now the next one. What is the K value? K value is 1. So K is coming here. What? 1. So what is formula of Newton's second law of motion? F is equal to M A. It means force is the product of mass and acceleration. It means this is the. If the mass is more. The force applied will be more. Suppose you have 1 kg object and 5 kg object. In which you will apply more force to change the state. Yes, 5 kg object. In the same manner, if you have to produce 1 meter per second square acceleration or 5 meter per second square acceleration. In which you will apply more force. 5 meter per second square. So, it means the force Depends on two things. One is mass and the second is acceleration. If one will increase like if mass is increased the force applied will be more. If you have to produce more acceleration the force applied will also be more. Now what is SI unit of force? What is mass unit? Kg. And what is acceleration unit is? Meter per second square. And 1 kg and 1 meter per second square. What is this called? 1 in Newton. Yeah. So what is SI unit of force? This is Newton. Yeah. Again, if the mass is 1 kg. Acceleration is 1 meter per second square. Then the force will be what? 1 Newton. So what is SI unit of force? That is Newton. Now we have to define the 1 unit of force. Suppose we have to produce 1 meter per second square acceleration in an object of mass 1 kg. Then the force will be 1 newton. It means if you know the formula you can make the you can derive the unit yourself. You can derive the unit even you can write the definition of the unit. So if we have 1 kg object. And we have to produce 1 meter per second square acceleration. Then the force applied will be 1 newton. Now in the next topic we will study applications of the second law of motion. Like we have studied applications of first law of motion in the same manner we are studying applications of second law of motion. And in the same manner applications of third law of motion. 
As I told you, there are three laws of motion Newton ke. How many laws are there? Three laws are there. So, first law of motion, second law and third law. And in all the laws, we will study its application. So, before taking the applications, I will explain to you this concept that force is directly proportional to change in momentum upon time. Now, tell me, if a change in momentum upon time, we are dividing this, what is this called? This is called rate of change of momentum. Now, one thing is there, if time will be, I am taking two conditions. One, in the case the time is less. Now, tell me, when the time is less, so what will be this whole value? What will be this whole value that that whole value will become more. It means that ki agar aapka denominator, if your denominator is less, then this whole value will become more. And what is this whole value called? This is called rate of change of momentum. And if this denominator will be more, like if the time will be more, this whole value will become less. Like change of momentum, rate of change of momentum will be less. So, this will be more clear to you when I will take this example. The first application I am taking, like a filter pulls his hand gradually with the moving ball while holding a cap. Like a filter has to catch a ball. So, you have seen the filter will gradually pulls his hands downward. Why he pulls his hands downward? You can check in this figure. This play, this person is catching a ball and while he is catching the ball he is moving his hands downward why he is moving his hands downward why in this case you can check if he will move his hands upward the time will be more, less in this second case what is happening here he is increasing the time so first thing is here in the second figure the time will be more and i told you in this also if the denominator will be more, this whole value will become less. So here the time will be more, so rate of change of momentum will be less. Don't write change of momentum because in the first case change of momentum is same and in the second case change of momentum is same. But rate of change of momentum will be different. So, in the second case, rate of change of momentum will be less. And when this whole value will become less, it means the force will also be less. So, if the force will be less, it means that the person will be hurted less. If the person will move his hands upward, then the person will be hurted more. And if he pulls his hands downward, then the person will be hurted less. Because he has increased the time. And when the time will be increased, then the force applied by the ball will also be less. Yeah? So, it means that in this application, you have to tell the three concepts. One time, second rate of change of momentum and third is force. Now, I will take the second application. Like when an athlete are performing in a high jump, then the then it is allowed to then the person has to fall on a cushion is allowed to fall on a cushioned bed why he is allowed to fall on a cushioned bed you can check in this figure that the person is falling on a cushioned bed why is it done because in this case the time will be more because when he is jumping on the cushioned bed then the bed will be compressed down when, he, when the bed is compressed down, it means the person is taking more time to come to rest position. So, what is there? The time is more. And when the time is more, this I have already explained, the rate of change of momentum will be less. And that's why the force will also be less. So, when the force is less, it means person will be hurted less. If suppose, in place of this cushioned bed, if suppose there is a uh, there is the hard floor. Yeah? If the hard floor will be there, so what will be there? The time will be more, rate of change of momentum, 
time will be less time will be less rate of change of momentum will be more and the force will also be more that's why when a person is jumping in that prone so it is allowed to fall that the person has to jump on the cushion pad third example that is karate player breaks a pile of a tile in a single blow so what a person do when he breaks a pile of tiles in a single blow he moves his hands very fast yes so when he is moving his hands very fast so what is happening here the time is less kya lagega usko time less lagega and when the time is less rate of change of momentum will be more and the force applied by a person will also be more because he wants to apply more force to break to break the spike that's why the time he move his hands very fast due to which rate of change of momentum will be more and the force will also be more i hope these all applications are clear to you you can relate these applications with the real life examples yourself like so in the same manner like if a person is wearing a seat belt while driving a car so why is it advised to wear a seat belt because in this case when a person applies the brakes immediately so what happens so his forward motion will be slower down so the time will be more rate of change of momentum will be less and that's why force will also be less due to which person will be hurt less so these all are the applications